Welcome to Create Momentum Podcast for Positive Mindset. Today, my guest is Kelvin Cliff. He's an upcoming artist from Nigeria. He's making his beats. He, uh, he do different sorts of music and he's planning to collaborate with uh, different artists. Welcome, Kelvin. Yes, sir. Uh, welcome to my podcast with um, a big moment for me to have this opportunity to voice out to the people. Thank you, sir. You're welcome anytime. Create Momentum is for the people who want to uh, make it uh, make it or break it. So it is for everybody. For me, it doesn't make a difference from uh, a cleaner to CEO. So here we start. Please tell us about yourself, uh, Kelvin. Yeah, actually, but, um, I'm from the side of Nigeria that we are hustlers, you know, like we're living from um, days of life, you know. I came from a place in Nigeria, they called uh, Anambra State from the east side, eastern side of Nigeria, you know. Started as a solo artist also. I'm still a solo artist at the meantime and independent, you know. I am a multi-genre artist. I do um, Afro, especially trap music and R&B. So I started as an artist back in 2014, I would say. But I, I, I will perform for, uh, in, a, in, a, in a fashion show, my favorite song um, by Anonymous, you know. That was where people discovered I was into music fully, you know. Then, you know, it's very hard where I come from. It's very hard. So I had to move out of Green Pasture. I would say, you know, so the music of a team work because it's very hard in the music industry. A lot of upcoming artists uh, I find it very difficult to adapt to the influx, influx of music and, you know, caliber of people coming up different, um, different, um, different music, different um, exposure, you know. For me to get my own exposure, I suppose you, I have to move out. Yeah, I have to move out from Nigeria, you know, to Dubai, United Arab Emirates, you know. So start finding my steps. I have to take the baby steps, you know. I took the baby steps and then bad times as well. Then I found out that I can do this a little bit by myself. So I dropped an, a, a single months back. So to test my ability, you know, the, I I was recording from. So it was titled MIA, Mission in Action. So it was all about, you know, I can't just say everything, but it's all about my relationship, you know. So after that, people were like getting getting used to me. So they uh, some people encouraged me to to do more, you know. So I have to write down my my. My bio, and I put my bio in a song, you know, and then I titled um, um, my come up, my come up, was dedicated to my mother, you know. She been through a lot for me. She was there when I had an accident, and then and all, you know. She was she always been there, you know. Positive mind always inspiring me to do more, motivating me. In any way she can, you know. So then, I have some also um some bad moments, some low lights, where people was telling me that I should do more. I uh, should be more of the culture, way, like Afro beats. So I figured out a way. Then I met this my guy. Um, he's a producer. Yeah, KOC. So we we put up something. We put we came up with something. Then I we started working, and then hope, um, successfully we came out with an, an EP, five track EP. One of the songs there was about my. The whole, the whole, uh, the whole thing I've been through. The first track, "Stories Untold," that's the album, the name, to talk about my all my doubts behind me, and then in the first track, and then also I, I, you know me, I, I love to be, I love to be on on the actual side of life in music. I talk about myself in the music and things that I have been through. I just don't make music for. For fun these days, I just make music and I just put my heart in it. Like 
emotionally, things I've been through, and a whole lot of things. I have people to hear me out, you know, what I've been through now, what I'm going through right now, you know, and then the good side of it as well, you know. Then, a few months back also, an incident in Nigeria about the movement and SARS, whatever, you know, a lot of things going on in my country, which I will not online, you know, so, and I will put out a song, put out a song. Actually, it's, it's based on what's happening, what's happening and what's happened already, you know, so I put out that song, it was titled, um, Wrong Hands, Wrong Hands, it's all about, um, the brutality and the uh, um and the um the poor governance, you know, incapability of the government to lead the people, you know. So I have to put out something which people like as well, you know. The song it's um it's it's a good one. Then um few months back I will say again for for my friends, you know, because they are demanding always. So I put out something, um a song Titled the money and you know how we young people would deal with life, you know. So it's a good one. Some of the DJs I played it for, they are like it and they, you know, and people are liking them out. Some of my friends are also sharing it, you know. So it's a popular song right here in my area and also in United Arab Emirates. Yeah, and of at the moment for 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 holidays coming up, I have. A song for the holidays is just a pending song, and it's a, so hopefully, bet it will be ready soon. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I, I just want to ask you one more thing. Uh, that um, is it. The music uh, is your passion, or is it the music you, uh, when you were at school or college, you thought one day you will be a mu mu uh, musician and you will play Afro beats or different sorts of music. Excuse me. <laughs> uh, actually, um, basically, uh, basically, um, I've been in love with music since I was a kid. Since I was a kid, I've been in love with music. And when my father would play radio, and I would keep singing and keep uh, mumbling to songs, I think that one way well, that was when um, they discovered I, I, I have something to do with music. That's my mom, you know. So I discovered more when I was. Coming up as a church choir, choir master, you know, as a kid, I'm from the kid side of the church, you know. Then later on, I started, I found writing much, writing much, writing much of the music than singing. Then I met a friend, a friend, very good friend of mine, very close, he's a close friend of mine, one of my closest friends, I would say, um, Patrick. We, we share the same dream together, so he was the one that tells me, man, See what, see what I see, like, you can do music and you basically, uh, you fall inside, basically in genre of, of rap music, hip hop, rap music. And also, I found myself doing most of R&B music, you know. Uh, I'm just in love with R&B music. But in, um, stepping into the spotlight, like, of music and in, in, in music itself, I found out I do more of trap music trap afro music soulful trap you know that's what i basically mean. and how i see music is how it inflows in me if i wake up with a vibe if i wake up with it i wake up with afro vibe today i just i just get get into it if i wake up tomorrow with trap music vibe i get into it and say my mind that's my own aspect of music for me you know yeah okay what skill you what skill you learned while you were learn uh, while we were learning about the music? What skills you have learned so far in in the music field? Yeah, uh, actually, um, most of my songs come with my with my instrumental uh, with the, with the instrumental I got from Splice because I have um subscription with them, so I normally make my own beats the way I like it because I can't just get on every beat I, I must like the beat like I, I should like the beat I should feel the vibe from the song like um the beat I would just I just want something that I I'm in love with you know doing so I found out I get instrumentals together and get a beat and 
so actually i produce some of my songs some of my songs i am studying about music production music production that's what i'm basically studying i mean because i'm at the time you should i i believe that when you're going into a field um be versed you should be versed not just a singer i'm just trying to be versed in the area of music yeah so uh what which is your favorite instrument like some people have guitar piano what do you like oh uh, yeah play the band growing up i play the drums okay you like um, playing drums i yeah. think i would do more right now with the drums but i i, I finally yeah yeah i finally i found out i because the melody that comes from the piano the piano uh is something uh something um we love piano so much and i would like to have more piano classes just that uh, these days i got more busy making music other than the instruments okay who is your inspiration yeah. in music so who did you get inspired which artist is it uh, i mean um, hip hop or is it uh, see there is different genre of music so what do who do you like who is your favorite artist your sir Yeah, actually um i would like to be to be um keep it 50 50 because um i don't i i just don't listen to music from the 80s and 90s i mix my music um from the new new school to the old school but growing up i i listened to a lot of r&b from um marvin gay michael jackson jagged edge arkelly darius boys a lot of boys to men you know and some rap artists like Jaru um 50 cent and fabulous and all that you know also from the new school i love a lot of fisher and drake fisher and drake and some migos for me these are people that when i listen to them and also um, a little bit of soulja boy uh, yeah you know they made the music more easier for us to do uh it inspires me way more and some um um leo wizzy Leo Wayne, yeah, you know they broke the music into pieces that everybody could just find some find a way to make the music work for him for them. Yeah, I listen to a lot of these artists, but mostly I I was inspired by where I'm where I'm coming from because around me I had there's a lot of stories to tell. When I look around me, since I've been through, that's that's the most thing that gives inspiration. Sometimes I wake up. with the melody in my head then i have to say those things i have to say those things in a song i don't just copy uh, people i do my own thing i have my own style of music but inspirationally uh i got my inspiration from all these artists i just named so yeah. it's mean you are more as well it's miss uh, which i see you are more uh, creative and uh, productive towards your own music which you are i mean which you feel comfortable about it's a good thing i mean every way it's a uh, it's a learning hub so as i am learning as well as a podcaster so i mean there are, there is a lot of bigger podcasters are sitting in the market so it's a learning and another thing is we all go through in life different challenges but after it said there was a good saying it say yeah. uh when whenever you start something new life is full of challenges whenever you start a new thing there will be few people will be critical few people will say everybody is different so whatever your heart say you should fulfill it and uh, do it that's it follow your uh, follow your passion and obsession it might take 10 years it might take 5 years you shouldn't see the time and especially nowadays if we if we open up a youtube channel we think I put a one podcast oh billion views no it will take time i don't see my views i see my vision so that was about a little bit about me but however you have a plan in future to collaborate with a uh, different artist or you already had uh, done a collaboration yeah uh, that will be a very big um big um, um move in my musical career like 
is what we've been looking for because I've been getting some inv invites from some of the artists that I listen to us as well, like two of them, two popular artists. Like, you know, sometimes I, so I see my DM on the low of 100 or them. I can't just say everything, but I've seen some artists listen to my music. Even though I would love to tell you that most of my music are not even outside out there. I have a bunch of music collection in my catalog that, that I am just looking for a, a good time, you know, to put them out so I can just promote it as well. The music I put out is for people to know that my, 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 my main catalog is still out there. I've never put anything out. I have like four albums, album and a produced album already waiting. Uh, I would love to say that, but also I, I need some, I need to say that from artists, but I'm not trying to collaborate with every artist I see. I want somebody like, I can um, hop on it and do it right. You know, just, just um, I'm so eager to get on in touch with some artists I don't know. I just want somebody that is unique with your style, just like me. And then we can do something that when we put out, maybe it can be a good vibe. You can tell me, yeah. So Candy, my question is to you, what will be your message to youngest or upcoming artists in the future? Yeah, actually, I will be, I'll be straight to the point. You just have to be, you just have to be um, unique in your style. You just have to know what you want. Like, just leave the copy, leave the copy. You, a particular artist, it's good, fine. But you just have to, your own style. Because the only thing that will make you stay longer in the music industry is if you have a style. If you have a style, if you have something to say, when you say, um, then I think it's not for you. You should also believe in yourself because when you're coming up as an artist, you, you have a lot of people that disbelieve in you at first, more than people that believe in you. That's certain. You should have them, you should have that mindset so to take whatever that's coming with it because you, you lose your friends and you lose your friends. Uh, and the problem of getting into music, you find out that people around you See you as 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 someone that is people you are being um and uh, well, how will I put it um you you don't socialize that much anymore because you are your head is into the game like you are doing more music more than the time you give to people so people should try to understand it so these are the things you expect and then also you just have to, at the end of the day it's gonna it's gonna pay off so you just have to be yourself have a style keep doing what you're doing you're gonna have the L's the losses will be coming but just know that. You're looking at a bigger picture. What you are, what you are setting your eyes from. That's what you keep looking at because the losses keep keep coming left and right. But once you hit the jackpot, that's when you see that people around you really know what you're doing. That's when they start supporting you. But you just have to keep your mind focused. Stay playing, never stop. That's all I'm gonna I'm gonna tell uh, the low ones coming behind me and some people also that are looking up to me, just like I'm looking up to some other people. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, uh, Candy, could you please uh, play a, one of your beat which you made a piece of uh, music? That will be great, so the audience can listen. So, uh, and I'll always put uh, I will put a link in the description that where they can listen, maybe to SoundCloud or uh, different platforms. Yeah. So, could you play a music for us? Uh, okay, a, mu a music or a beat. Yeah, beat anything which is uh, you you have uh, from yours. Yeah, yeah, please. Yeah. If I stick with the bitches, my magic can get something more. I'm not sticking with any weapon that all of my bones. I know the bitches are funny to my bones. What's up, the I'm funny, I'm funny. I'm on my level. I'm on my level. When you got money, bitches are funny. I took a bandage. Bitches and 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 bandage. I call out the plug to a pool, but fucking I'm sick in a pool. Sally got like in a sick in a pool, okay? 
Pull on Lamboda, I'm at the Tabaco way back. I got the rest up in now. Can they both hunt you right now? Can talk to Chicky right now? She wanna fuck in the back of the jaw. She wanna baby right now. She wanna back at the back of her mind. She wanna the talking on night. I got them bitches in the job. I got the truth in the job. I buy up in the end of the month. I buy up. All she wanna do is see on me. Thank you for that, Candy. So it has been, uh, Candy, it has been a great uh, yeah. conversation with you. So before we go up, so your anything you want to there... say, uh, anything you want to say to the audience of uh, my audience or your audience or your fans on Instagram, on a different platform, any message? So please give us a message. Hey, I would like to say a little something. Um, like, just keep supporting and keep being yourself, man. Yo, um... Any aspect you've seen yourself, like your field of studies, whatever, keep doing your, yourself because me, I, so, I so much believe in being original, you know, and also keep supporting me. I have something new for you guys coming. Um, before my birthday, um, my birthday is on the 12th of next month, so I have something in a package for you guys, something fresh, something new, something to vibe with cannibal style of music coming straight from my home to yours. To your earphones, to your speaker, get them ready for the holiday, you know what I'm saying? And click the little link and had my recent single, which is on Benji, the one I just played right now. Man. Click that link, get yourself your headphone, get your speakers on, turn it up louder. And let's go. Thank you. Thank you very much, Candy Boy, for your time. And uh, hopefully we'll uh, get back to you again when... Uh... I mean, you are tracks, or when you are playing tracks or anything new, you will be doing again. Create momentum from Create Momentum. Thank you very much, and uh, it is a great, great pleasure to speak with you. Thank, thank you, thank you very much.